Over the years, I've done a lot to try to create the perfect work and play from home setup. Well, I'm finally jumping on board the super ultra wide bandwagon with this, the new MSI 49 inch QD OLED monitor. Huge thanks to MSI for sending this out and for also sponsoring this video. In the box, you get a two piece metal stand, a power cable, a HDMI cable, a USB type B cable, and of course the panel itself. Assembly is a breeze and doesn't require any extra tools, which is always nice. Just slot the two pieces of the stand together, screw it tight and snap that right into place onto the the back of the monitor. Now I was a little worried my desk wouldn't be big enough for it but luckily it's pretty much a perfect fit. This has a nice and tidy design, just a bit of MSI branding down in the bottom left corner. It's got a tiny bit more personality from the back with the MSI Gaming Dragon logo. That's found on top of the customized heatsink, which works in combination with graphene film for passive cooling, meaning this is a completely fanless design. Now nothing buzzed me more than a monitor that's stingy with I.O. Well, this monitor gets it right. You can have up to four input devices connected to it, including through a 90 watt USB-C power delivery port. Great for connecting laptops and tablets. Surprisingly, it doesn't have any speakers built in. It does have a handy KVM switch, so you can easily control multiple PCs with a single keyboard and mouse. Okay, so the display itself is a 5120 by 1440p second gen QD OLED. It has a 144Hz refresh rate with a silly fast 0.03 millisecond response time. It's VESA certified for both Display HDR True Black 400 and Clear MR8000, which is a measure of how clear fast moving objects will appear. This score is just shy of the best possible certification. In terms of colors, it covers 99% of the DCI-P3 color space. You've probably noticed, but this is rocking an 1800R curvature. The idea behind this is that it brings the edges of the display closer to your field of vision. It helps cut down on distortion, eye strain, and just makes content or gaming feel a little more immersive. It has an anti-glare glossy finish, which I gotta say, I was instantly a big fan of. For being a glossy display, it handles reflections like a champ, and the glare from light sources doesn't immediately blind you. The stand does the typical height, tilt, and rotation adjustments, so you do have a good amount of flexibility to hopefully angle it away from any stray light sources. This has a typical brightness of 250 nits with a peak brightness of 1000 nits. Out of the box, it's set to 70% brightness. For everyday productivity, I actually found it to be a little too bright for my eyes, so I did bring it down a little bit more. Unless you have sunlight blasting right onto the display, I honestly think this is plenty bright for most people. The display quality itself is really good. It has the near-perfect black levels, very high contrast, and amazing viewing angles that's really only possible with OLED. Combine that with the vibrant colors of quantum dot technology, and you end up with some serious eye candy, especially with HDR turned on. When compared to WOLED, the other main type of OLED technology, QD OLEDs tend to be significantly better at displaying colors, offering a much brighter and vibrant overall picture. This is my first experience with one of these QD OLED monitors, and it's true what they say. Once you go OLED, it's really hard to go back. Video content with this aspect ratio isn't very common, but because it's OLED, the black bars on either side are essentially pitch black and nowhere near as distracting as the grayish black you'd get on something like an IPS panel. So this monitor is primarily designed for gaming. I grew up gaming and will always be a gamer at heart. The display quality and the level of immersion that you get on here just makes you want to play all sorts of games. I just wish I had more time. My husband and I have been loving the heck out of this thing for playing It Takes Two. It's like our favorite game to play together. This monitor is absolutely perfect for the side-by-side -side co op The immersion is also so good for any sort of racing game, action adventure, or first-person shooter where the environment just wraps around your peripheral vision and sucks you right into what you're playing. MSI also has several cool gaming-focused features built right into the monitor. Night Vision AI intelligently amplifies the details and dark areas of the screen. You can overlay a crosshair on your screen that will automatically change colors for improved visibility. An optic scope is essentially a magnifier, making it easier to see long-range targets. 
Now, I wanted to see what happens when I plug in a console like the Xbox Series X in. In summary, it works great. It supports 120Hz with variable refresh rate and auto low latency at 1440p, but the aspect ratio is locked at 16 by 9, so not the best use of the ultra wide display. The good news is this supports both picture in picture and picture by picture modes. This allows me to have the Xbox displayed on one side and my PC or whatever I want on the other side. Heck, you could even have two consoles connected at the same time if you wanted to for some reason. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the flexibility of picture by picture. Of course, besides entertainment, the aspect ratio really appealed to me for the potential boost in productivity. And yeah. It's a lot of extra space. This is equal to having dual 27 inch 1440p monitors side by side. I've had that exact setup before and didn't love it due to how clunky it felt, the amount of cables, and of course the massive bezel running across the middle right in front of me was a bit of an eyesore too. This amount of uninterrupted screen real estate just makes me feel like I have room to breathe now. I edited my first video on it last week and as expected, it's awesome for that. Even for day-to-day -day productivity, with window snapping, I'm quickly setting up dual window workflows just like that, or my personal favorite, a triple window layout. This way, whatever I'm working on is front and center, flanked by two other windows for YouTube, emails, or anything else I might need quick access to. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room, burn-in. That's kind of the biggest reservation people have when it comes to OLED on monitors due to all the static elements especially when using it as a workstation. This is my first experience with one, and what I've learned is that a key part to OLED maintenance is doing regular pixel refreshes, or as MSI calls it, panel protect. Basically, it's a five to 10 minute process where the monitor will shut off and sort of massage its pixels. It's kind of like a spa treatment for the panel to keep it looking nice and fresh. It's optional after every four hours of use and mandatory after every 16 hours. The good news is that it happens automatically as needed when the monitor is in standby. So it's not as intrusive as it might sound. You can tell it's happening because the LED at the front will start blinking orange. This also comes with MSI OLED Care 2.0, which includes a bunch of new automated safeguards for added protection from burn-in. Obviously, I can't speak on how well all these work right now, but MSI seems pretty confident. They're offering a three-year OLED warranty for burn-in. That's pretty good if you ask me. Right here behind the monitor is where you'll find the five-way joystick for accessing the on-screen display menu. To the right is the power button, and the button on the left here is actually a customizable macro key. By default, it launches the MSI Gaming Intelligence software. I found the software to be a much more intuitive way to adjust the monitor settings because I don't have to reach for the physical controls. It also lets you do things like update the firmware, set up keyboard hotkeys, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm sure I'll discover as I use it more. All right, at the end of the day, this is a really cool experience. This is by far the biggest monitor I've ever used. The panoramic views paired with QD OLED is such a game changer, especially for gaming. It can also serve double duty for productivity as well. It's great to see that there are plenty of safeguards in place to reduce the main drawback for OLEDs, and that's burn-in. And the three-year warranty just makes it feel like it's a lot less scary to take the plunge. Retail price is 1100 USD, and there's actually a total of six monitors in MSI's current QD OLED lineup. So if this is a little too much for you, you've got some other options. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Drop any questions you have in the comment section. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here. Bye!